Hey everybody, this is another night video. Uh, by the time you see this, it will be Saturday, because I will upload this tomorrow. But for you, tomorrow is today, and today is tomorrow. So, this is going to be a very short video. I just want to uh, go through which countries right now are in good position to qualify, especially in respect to the upcoming qualification games um, in June, which will take place between the 8th and 13th, that five-day period next month. I'm not going to give predictions for uh, who will win those games, because that would take so long to do for six different continents. Um, and I will not make any predictions as to who will qualify for the World Cup. I'm not doing that. This is just a video of telling you who's in the best shape right now from each continent to reach Russia next year. Um, I'm going to start off with Asia and probably the team that is most likely to be the next team to secure qualification, and that's Iran. Iran just needs a win next month against Uzbekistan at home to clinch a spot in Russia next year. That's it. They just need a win. It uh, doesn't matter what happens in the next two, three games of qualifying. They could lose all of them, but Uzbekistan and South Korea will be unable to catch up. Iran, with three points at home on June 12th, will finish at least in the top two of Group A of, your, of Asian qualifying. And they will likely, if they win that game, be the second team to punch their ticket behind Brazil, who we know, uh, somewhat surprisingly, wrapped up their qualification period relatively early, back in March. So... Right now, Brazil and, and Russia are the only two spots, Russia being the host. The other 30 uh, tickets are yet to be determined, but it's looking like Iran is going to be that third team to make it. And that's all I have for Asia, because Group B of Asian qualifying, Japan, Australia, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, it's too close to call. They're all at each other's throats there. No one has a uh, an almost insurmountable lead. Iran is the only one from Asia. From Oceania, Oceania kicks off again next month as well. And New Zealand, you have to think New Zealand is the most likely uh, country that's going to get that playoff spot against the fifth place South American side. Really, the games next month in Oceania are just determining who New Zealand's opponents are going to be in the Oceania playoff. The winner of that two-legged playoff advances to another two-legged playoff, an international one against South America. I can't really say New Zealand are in good position to qualify because it'll take a miracle, in my opinion, for them to beat the fifth-place South American team. But they will technically get very, very close to qualifying in the sense that they're going to they're gonna reach the playoff. So I'll say New Zealand, but with a huge uh, asterisk, asterisk uh, next to it. CONCACAF, it's Mexico and Costa Rica. Mexico and Costa Rica, both the two top sides. In the region right now, uh, USA, Panama, Honduras, and Trinidad and Tobago are going to be battling it out for the, th the third to sixth positions. Mexico and Costa Rica, you have to think that they are in the best position right now at the moment to um, stake a claim at the World Cup. South America does not have any games in June. They don't kick off again until late August, which is more than three months from now. But if you look at the continent anyway, there's really no team right now that are in, that you could say are in good shape to qualify because only six points separate the second place team and the eighth place team. It's very, very tight in South America. It's probably the world's most entertaining and exciting region to watch. Um, so I'm going to pick nobody from South America because uh, it's all very shaky at the moment. Africa. Well, you have to go through group by group. Uh, Tunisia and DR Congo are dominating Group A. Guinea and Libya don't have any points, zero. Uh, so it's likely going to come down to the two games, home and away, between DR Congo and Tunisia to determine who gets that one of Africa's five World Cup spots. So you have to say DR Congo and Tunisia are in great shape. Um, Nigeria from Group B are well ahead of the pack. They're five points clear, or four points clear, I think, of Cameroon, Algeria, and Zambia the other three of which have not won a single game so far. Group C and D are very close. Ivory Coast, uh, 
their group is um, the tight battle between them, Morocco, Mali, and Gabon. Uh, in Group D, so, so close to call, Burkina Faso, Senegal, South Africa, Cape Verde. Group E, though, and I say this very cautiously, but with a little bit of optimism, a lot of optimism, Egypt are in great shape. They're five points clear of Ghana, who is supposed to be the biggest threat in the group. So from Africa, I'm, I'm going to pick, uh, as, far, as far as teams that are in the best shape to qualify, again, not teams to qualify, these aren't predictions, but the ones in best shape are Egypt, Tunisia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Nigeria. And last but not least, we have Europe. Europe, uh, not going to get into the details of all the groups, but in Group A, France is a good position to make it. Group B is too close between Switzerland and Portugal. One of them's going to make it directly. The other one's going to get the playoff spot, but you can't really uh, pick who is going to be the one that has to go to the playoff. So I'm not going to pick anyone from Group B. Group C, Germany. Germany. Group D is too close between Wales, the Republic of Ireland, Serbia, and Austria. Um, Group E, Poland. Poland look like they're about to make the, the World Cup for the first time since 2006. England and Group F seem about a mile ahead of everyone else. Group G is close between Spain and Italy. It's really a two-team group at the moment. You don't know who's going to get it directly, who's going to the playoffs, so I'm not going to pick any, any side from there. Belgium are on track to qualifying directly from Group H, um, but they're not in great shape to make it. They did drop points at home to Greece, which was a game that they arguably could have and should have lost. Um, I think probably they will ultimately win the group and qualify directly, but I'm not going to pick them as being in great shape. They're just on track. They're on track. Same thing in Group I, which I think is the, by far the toughest group in European qualifying, with Croatia, Iceland, Ukraine, and Turkey. Um, Croatia's on track right now, but they're not in excellent shape. So from Europe, the only teams I'm going to go with that are in, that I can say with confidence, are uh, in in very good condition to make it to Russia, are France, Germany, Poland, and England. So, that's it. All my teams, there's only a hand few, to be honest with you guys. But once the end of the summer comes, I'm sure at least half of the 32 teams that make it, their their identities will pretty much be known to us. If not officially confirmed, then we'll, we'll know at least half of the countries that are in great position to qualify. But for now, the teams that I'm going to go with are Iran, uh, New Zealand, technically, Mexico, Costa Rica, DR Congo, Tunisia, Nigeria, Egypt, France, Germany, Poland, England. Not very many. About a little less than a dozen or so. So yeah. Uh, I'll be sure to make a video on the World Cup qualification games that are taking place early next month, on June 8th through the 13th. And then after those games, guys, maybe we'll have more teams that, are, that, are, um, that emerge from the ashes, so to speak. Uh, until then, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment. I'll get. I'll make another video tomorrow. Until then, guys, peace out. What teams do you think are in a good position to make it? Uh, but just to re just to stress one more time, this is not a prediction video. It's just trying to paint a clear picture of what World Cup qualification looks like right now, and who stands where. Peace.